Now here we're told we have some new function we call g of x. And g of x is just like f of x. Keep in mind, brother, this over here, that was f of x. Now we're told we have some new g of x here, okay? This is some new situation going on. We're told that, all right, g of x is, is made by doing this, f of x minus 5. And it helps to recognize that this is a transformation of a function. Do you remember what happens with those? Like if you put like, you know, like, I don't know, uh, 2 or 3, let's say times f of x, remember what that would do? That number in front would be a vertical, um, it would basically make it grow by a factor of 3. So it would be a vertical stretch. Just like if you put a number in the middle here times the x, that would be a horizontal stretch. Whereas if you add something, let's say like a plus 2, that means this thing goes up by 2. It's a vertical shift. Like you take every point and move it up. And if you have something within the bracket, which is what we do have here, okay, something within this or here bracket, I think the key part to this question is recognizing that this is the transformation right by 5. I think that was the key to doing this. It's not obvious. So you had to recognize that this is a transformation. And you had to know that anything that happens in the bracket, if you have an x plus 5, you'd think, oh, it should go to the right by 5, right? But actually, no. It should go uh, you know, to the left. So in other words, things always go opposite to what you think. So had it said like uh, x plus 2, let's just say it was x plus 2, you'd think, oh, it should go to the right by 2. Nope, goes left by 2. Well, conversely, if it says x minus 5, you'd think, oh, it should go to the left by 5. Nope, that means it goes right by 5. So anything within the bracket, I always think it does opposite to what you think it should do. So noticing and recognizing that g of x equals f of x minus 5 is just simply doing this transformation, moving it right by 5. That, I think, was the key to solving this. Because if now you want to sketch g of x, all you have to do is remember that, well, that's just this function, f of x, and everything is right by 5. So if you've done it right, oh, I don't know if I can do it this way. I'm going to be really cheap here and see if I can do it. Ah, no, I'll just do it like this. I'll do it properly. That means each point needs to go right by 5. So if this one right here, um, I'm at minus 6, I need to go to the right by 5. So not up or down, right? So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm actually going to end up over here. This point right here, which is at minus 4, it's going to go to the right by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point right here, which was at minus 2, goes to the right by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And hopefully I can make a straight line going from here to here. There we go. And do another one and go from here to here. This is my new function, and I can even call it. I can even you know label it properly. Call that g of x. So it's this entire function f of x just been shifted, dragged, ripped over to the right. And that's all we had to do for part P. We just had to sketch it.